these pants are terrible. <laughs> see what I see what see what I did there? Cause he he's Tara, and the pants are are not good. Anyway. <laughs> What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the DStar01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and thank you for joining us on this toy review of the Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts 3 Terra. We're going to be doing this as a toy review, not an unboxing, so I'm going to tell you how I feel about this figure right off the bat. But first, if you're looking to pick him up, you can get him at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Now, Let's get into the review. First things first, let me be 100% honest with you. This figure has awful, awful pants. And I'm going to tell you why these are awful. And this will probably make you think twice before purchasing him. Um, so my issue here is this part right here of the pants cannot be removed unless you cut it. And the reason why this part of the pants is terrible is because getting any sort of sidekick or any sort of kick is just not going to happen. It's really hindering his articulation. And this is the biggest issue of this figure. Uh, you know what's funny is that inside you, his legs and stuff, as you can see his legs inside of the pants, there's actual articulation. There's a knee joint, there's a ankle joint, there's ball joints in his, in his uh, crotch. But what's the point when you can't even move in? This is the big problem that I have with this figure. Um, besides that, I have to say the figure looks absolutely amazing. There's a lot of detail. He looks like Terra from Kingdom Hearts 3. And it's definitely worth it if you have Aqua and Ventus. So you can complete the Wayfinder Trio right here. Uh, but besides that, if you're thinking, you know what, I just want Terra. Uh, let's go through this review and maybe you'll think twice. Um, but besides that, let's go right into articul of uh, sorry, not articulate paint detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. First things first, let's talk about paint and detail. First things first, let's look here. Beautiful face sculpt, I have to say so myself. You gotta love the matte finish on. Well, it doesn't look like it's matte finished when the light hits it, but there's definitely a matte finish when I'm looking at it. Without the camera, it looks really nice and clean on that skin tone. The beautiful blue eyes are there. Let's look at that wonderful hair. It is so spiky, so detailed, looking like he just jumped right out of Kingdom Hearts. And I gotta say, the head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. Now let's look at the outfit right here. We have a gray matte finished shirt right there. And again, the skin tone on the arms continues with that slight tan and matte finish right there. But the armor on the arm Look at that metallic shine all throughout, looking very, very solid. Now, for the worst part, just because the pants aren't movable doesn't mean they don't look good. This is how he looks like in Kingdom Hearts, so, I mean, you got to get it down right. I guess they were really going for more form than function in this case, so when it comes to how it looks, yeah, those are terrorist pants. Uh, they look like samurai pants, as they should, and they look pretty solid. They're... They're rubbery too, let me just tell you about these. So this is definitely rubbery, it does flex, but it's not enough, and it's because of this part. I'm honestly thinking about just taking a razor and just slitting it right there so we can get some solid articulation because that's just so annoying to me. Uh, and then let's look at the feet right here. It looks like we got some metal boots right there. Those look really solid. So overall, I have to say when it comes to the paint and detail, I don't have any defects on mine. Mine looks really, really good. Uh, no paint defects at all, and I have to say, just him standing here, I'm just glad that we have a Terra figure, but I'm just sad that just because of the way he's designed in the game, they put it over towards the action figure, and therefore you cannot get um, good leg articulations. But speaking of, arti of articulation, let's move that box aside. Let's talk about articulation and scale. Let's see how tall this guy is standing. He's standing pretty tall, I have to say so myself. He is seven inches at the very tippy top of the hair, so he's a very tall, large figure, as he should be, because he has to scale with the other three. So let's look at Aqua here, how he stands next to Aqua. He just towers over her. And then especially compared to Ventus here, he is just way taller, way bigger than Ventus, as he should be. 
So that's pretty cool right there. So the they're very uh, well scaled. So yeah, they look like they all three of them belong together. So I'm actually really psyched to see these three together finally. Thank goodness. Oh, it looks so cool. But we'll look at other poses and stuff like that at the end of the video. Here is the SH Figure Arts Sora from Kingdom Hearts 2 Ultimate Form with the white suit right there. So yeah, wow, look at him. He just towers over SH Figure Arts Sora right there. And let's get a Dragon Ball figure in here. Here is Full Power Goku. Um, fortunately, these guys are sold out at dstartoys.com. But so there you have it, SH Figure Arts right there. If you're looking to pair him with SA Trigger, he does seem to fit. And of course, we have Marvel Legends. Here is a worthy cap. So let's say for some reason they jumped into the Marvel world and you want to put these guys together, you can. Here, let me see if I can get Cap to stand up a little bit better here. Hold on one second. And there you have it. So he works really well. Oh, of course, i got to have Wolverine because I like Wolverine. There you go. So, I'm going to go over articulation here, but I think I'm going to stop pretty much. I'm not going to go over the legs that much. So, let's see what we have here. We have an up and down here at the toe, and of course, we have an up and down here at the ankle. He does have a knee joint. He does have a crotch joint, but it's pointless because that's in the way. So, that's that. Can he ab crunch? Yeah, he has a decent ab crunch with a really nice movable uh, upper midsection joint the lower part is a little bit hindered, but yeah, it's still there So there is two articulation points right here at the midsection and Of course we have shoulder joints right here the armor just like Ventus and just like aqua uh, Hinders this arm from going all the way back But you can put this one all the way back Which is a really nice range of motion for this arm right here not so much on this one because the armor has to be in the way and you know what that's fine because uh he does have a decent amount of movement anyway in the arm unlike the legs let's look here he does have indeed at the sleeve right here he has a bicep swivel which is really cool and then we have a bend at the elbow right here and a ball and peg here at the wrist and a single ball joint at the neck i would say he has 20 over 20 points of articulation but you know what usable articulation definitely below 20. Um, let's see if I could just pose him in general. <laughs> sure, we can have him in a, like a boxing pose right here. We can, nope, we can't even do the sure you can pose and we can't do the superhero landing pose. Uh, pretty much just the arms and the upper body. That's really all he does. He, it's not leg day for Terra on this figure, unfortunately. Let's go over the accessories let's go to the top cam let's see what we're dealing with here which is really cool i do like the fact that he comes with a xenohort head so you can make terra xenohort and or i like or as i like to say terra hort <laughs> which is really cool and then you have a uh so you do get the xenohort head and then you do get the sleeping terra head and then you do get the xenohort keyblade and then you get uh, Terra's Keyblade, which is really cool. So you can dual wield it. Um, I already have the Keyblade holding hands on Terra already. And then we have open hands. And of course, you do get a Kingdom Hearts themed stand right here, which, I, like I said before, I really do like these stands because there is a screw in there that you can tighten up and really lock this one down. So let's look here at the front cam. Let's look at the Xenohort head. And that looks really cool right here. I gotta say, they did a really good job in the face sculpt right here. It looks really solid, very stoic, very evil. You got the white, silvery hair, which looks really, kind of reminds me of the Sephiroth hair. And yeah, it has that silvery tone, kind of like Sephiroth, so that's pretty cool right there. And of course, you gotta pair it with the right Keyblade. So, uh, the, with this Keyblade, let me just let, let you know, for mine, I'm not sure about yours, this does pop out. So the bottom part does pop out. But it was really tight. Like, I tried hot water. That didn't work. But what really set it loose was the silicone oil that I have at the store. Uh, I'm trying my best to get those back in stock. So don't worry, guys. It will be back in stock at D-Star Toys. The silicone oil I have. So I still have some more left. I just put a drop right in there. And I really try to pull it open. And there it goes. So it will come off. It's just really tight. And I think one of the reasons is 
is because I think mine has a little bit too much paint right here. Let's see if we can focus up there. So there was some a lot of paint right here. So as you can see, it actually came off. So as I pulled this off, the paint came with it. So let's uh, let's put this keyblade on him. And I think this keyblade just looks so cool. Let me just tell you, it's just so unfortunate that out of the three, Terra is the out of like the three Adventus and Aqua. Terra is the least articulated, but he just, in my opinion, looks the coolest. Just look at that. Come on. That looks so, so cool. Look at that Keyblade with that all-seeing eye right there and all the blades and everything. The paint is absolutely perfect. Wow. I, I'm just so impressed by this figure and how he looks. I'm just not impressed that they took out the articulation i think i just need to talk i think i really sent that one home to you guys i think i'm going to stop talking about it maybe at the conclusion now let's look at tara's keyblade right here and this one will go into the other hand so you can indeed dual wield keyblades let's see if i can pop this in real quick give me one second so there you have it right there you can dual wield keyblades right there and that looks super dope looking really cool and let's put the sleeping Terra face on there. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that cool? He looks really, really good. Now let's put the regular head on. And now we can come up with a conclusion of the Bring Arts Kingdom Hearts 3 Terra. As I said before, you know how I feel. Pants suck. I'm going to try to find some way to modify it. I think I'm just going to... I'm just gonna do it. I'm just—it's my figure. I get to do what I want. I'm gonna slice it right in the middle because it's just rubber, and hopefully that'll loosen that up so I don't have that issue anymore. So we can get him to do kicks. Um, man, should I should I do it on video? No, no, no. I think I won't. I, I think I'll do it for another time. I'll probably stream it or something. But yeah, definitely that needs work. Besides that, I have to say this figure looks absolutely amazing. I'm so glad that I finally got these three. Uh, Ventus and Aqua all together now, which is really, really nice. Um, I love Aqua. I love Ventus. I love the way Terra looks. I just don't like the articulation. But if you're cool with just, you know, hey, I want a good looking Terra figure. And because you have these two, you got to complete the three. And therefore, I have to say that's when he's worth it. But if you're looking for a singular Terra action, actually, this is probably your only choice. I don't think there's another Terra action figure out there. So anyway, guys, that's all that I have for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always going to know when I post new videos. And last but not least, you can go to www.thinkstarfighters.com, the local source for awesome action figures. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.